Oh boy, oh boy, got another unboxing, and this is something that actually probably ain't made anymore. And it's probably pretty old. So what I got is a 57 barrel one piece flexible telephone. Now it's so old that this is a cable telephone, not digital, cable. So we're gonna open it up and see what we got. Yeah, I'm excited. So when opening something like this, that's in this good a condition. We want to take a time and be gentle with it. I think the best unboxer, but I actually like the box and and don't want to destroy it. Uh, when was this made? Does it got a date on it? It's official GM supposedly. Uh, does it got a manufacturing date? The date is actually um, it's made in China. It's 2005 King America. So this was uh, made in 2005. So how old is this? This is 2001. It's pretty old. Okay, it has no tab on it. No tab here, so that's good. Let's open it up this way. Some package foam fell out of it. There we go. Come on out. Come on, little guy. Oh, it's even got the instructions. So this is what we got. We got some kind of booklet here. Uh, it's for the King America something something. What is this? Uh, import protect your telephone. Well, that's nice, but I think I passed my warranty. Uh, more stuff telling you about how it was made and shipped. Uh, instruction manual. Installation. If it's a telephone, how hard could it be? So I'm going to put all this back together in the little thingy because it seems important and this car is supposedly a collector's edition i don't know if it is or not you can let me know in the comment section below so i'm going to try to put everything back the way it comes out At this point, you know more about this car than I do. Ooh, I thought that was broke. Okay. I'm excited. I, you, you have no idea. This is actually my favorite car. It's my dream car. I actually had the pleasure of owning a 1957 two-door. It was actually a, a, you know, a sport coupe, I guess you would call it. It had the different roof on it, the smaller, shorter roof than the regular hardtop one. Oh. Put this down here. Here's the cables, they stretchy. One cable, don't we have power? Oh yeah, these phones don't use power. They, they actually get power from the phone line. That's kind of cool. Very cool, actually. I might have to hook this up. What do you guys think? Should I leave it in the box or should I actually put it to use? I mean, it is a classic collector's edition. Oh god, I'm so nervous. Even smells new. It's been in the box since 2005 and the cables still smell like it came from a, a plastic factory in China. The phone itself don't weigh nothing. I mean, it's maybe a pound if that it ain't nothing to it uh, does it come apart no do we just pick it up to answer the phone i guess you pick it up to answer the phone that's interesting it's very interesting okay you can't see this maybe you can now but this is how you turn it off you just set it down and then it matches this in let me pick up. 
actually cool in it. So you have to go in when the wheel's set down, turn the phone off. So as soon as you pick it up off the table, it quits. Hello? Okay, we still got the sticker on it. It's got a like a what's that? Like a plastic protected sticker. Looks like over this. I'm not gonna remove that. I'm gonna leave that on it. Uh it's got QC passed. I don't know what QC is. Down here it says hearing aid compatible. It says it's compliant with the FCC uh, rules. It says it's telephone compliant with... It just, just... It's a telephone, guys. It's got all the bells and whistles. We got something blue here. Oh, that's just what snaps. Uh, the wheels look extremely good. They don't twist. I guess that's so it don't roll off the table. We got big enough numbers we can dial. We can... You know, just call people. Uh, flash and we dial. Got volume low, volume high. That's a pretty simple. So I guess the cable would come out the back of it. That, that seems plausible to me, I guess. I mean, where else would you have the cable coming out? Out the back? Where the tailpipe should be? You ain't got no tailpipe? Not that good attention to detail. Can't see inside the interior. You know, it's just painted on, looks like. Uh, all in all, what would you do if somebody called your house in 2021 and be like, Hello? How you doing? Oh, well that sucks. Well, you need help, just call. Oh, maybe you did need help. Oops. So you call him back, because you, you actually was into something when you said that. So you match your massive numbers to that. Oh, you, you need to help? Oh, okay then. Oh, sorry about that, I was busy. And then you go help your buddy, you know, with his project call. So, yeah, it's a little awkward. I don't know how it sounds. It makes a noise when you shake it. Is it? No, it makes a noise up towards the top. I don't know, maybe it's got an indicator for when you pick it up. Don't know. Hmm. I like it. I do. I don't know if I'm going to hook it up. I mean, I could. You know, we've got this little section we've been working on here. What do you guys think? Think I should actually install it? Do got a, a, a jack on the wall here that I was going to want an internet port to. But, you know, I could run a phone cable to it and then an internet port next to it. Whoops, that ain't how it goes. So we need to try to put this back the way it came out. For a few reasons. One, I don't know if I'm going to use it. Two, supposedly it's a collectible quick, edition. Uh, uh, three, might be hard to find somebody else I might want this if I didn't use it, but I actually do enjoy it. So I got excited when I unboxed it. I'm like a little kid. What can I say? Hmm, that's a guy for your hand. We never grow up, we just get bigger. Toys get more expensive. Everything's put back. All but this bag here that went to the car itself, underneath the car itself. No comment, no comment at all. There we go, like we never opened it, and it's got everything in it, 
and it don't look like it's supposed to. No comment, guys. No comment at all. Now it looks like we never opened it. So, if you enjoyed this unboxing, let me know in the comment section below. Let, let me know if you think we should actually hook it up in here and use it as a practical phone. Let me know if I should just put it up on a shelf and keep it, or what do you think? I enjoy hearing from everyone, and uh, I enjoy your comments. Thank you for commenting if you take the time to. If you're new, get subscribed. I do tons of videos. Check my channel out. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing video of this classic car. And I'll see you next time.